Well, welcome back to the Norfolk Cottage Garden and this rose that we're going to show you in detail today is a beautiful mid-season flowering rose called Ethel and it's one of the Wikiurana ramblers dating back to the start of the 20th century and this one is a mid-season flower which means it's coming out now in the last week of June coming into July. Now this plant is a vigorous, vigorous rambler. Just look at the growth spikes that this one's putting out. You will easily put these out for between 12 and 15 feet each season. And what you're rewarded with is these beautiful elongated clusters of a mauvey pink, small double flower. There's hardly any scent on these at all, unfortunately. But what a beautiful, robust and florid display of flowers you do get at this mid-season period. Now, I'll just pull back a bit to show you the expanse of this rose. And just to give you some indication, earlier in the season we photographed this generous gardener. And in the apple tree, in the far distance, you can see the growth coming away from Paul's Himalayan musk. So they have almost finished their initial flush of flower. The generous gardener will go on throughout the season, but it's the flowering period that Ethel really gives you a burst of color when those other two have almost finished. These clusters are really a spectacular size. Although the flower size is small, just look, at it put my hand into the shot you can get some indication of the, the volume of each of these stems with the clusters as they open up. They're held on quite long growths from where it's been pruned back uh, to shape at the end of last season you'll see these growths are coming out they're about two feet in length before you get the breakage of the bud. So it is quite a, a spreading rose. If you just get some impression of how far it's not it's not a tidy grower that's what I'd say about it it's very tolerant of poor soils will grow on a northern uh, wall tolerate quite a bit of shade we don't fertilize or do anything with this one to be fair other than taming it back and cutting it into shape that's all it needs and it will give you these beautiful flowers not one in common cultivation, I don't think. Ethel, we'll take a bit of looking for, but well worth the search.